If you had to use only one computer for everything all the time, you'd probably pick your phone, right? Think about it. Wouldn't it be great for the device you grab when you wake up in the morning to be the same one you use on a giant screen at work and on your TV when it's Netflix time? It's a phone, a game console, a messaging machine, and your workhorse computer all in one tiny device. There are lots of companies, in fact, who think this is the future. They've been working on it for well over a decade. Ditch your laptop, throw out your tablet, finally unplug that hideous desktop tower. All you need is your phone, they say, and a bunch of accessories and docks and stuff. I wouldn't go that far. You might still own a laptop, but there are definitely ways to get even more out of your most important computer. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you don't want to write emails or do spreadsheets on your phone. I agree, and I have the answer. It's easier than you think. The key is two accessories, a Bluetooth keyboard and a display cable. With a keyboard like this one, Logitech's keys to go you can replace your phone's on-screen keyboard with a much better tool. It connects to virtually any phone via Bluetooth, and even has some of the same useful music and productivity shortcuts as your laptop. In testing this, I've been amazed at how many more things I'm willing to do on my phone when I have a better way to type. It's still kind of annoying to work on a presentation or write a long memo on such a small screen, though, which is where these come in. This is Apple's $50 display adapter. This is a huge TV. You plug an HDMI cable into one end and the other end into your phone. Just like that, you can mirror your display on a TV, computer monitor, whatever. Do that and pair a keyboard and you're basically using a desktop computer. If you have an Apple TV, you can even mirror your phone wirelessly and still hold it in your hands like normal. My setup here is only missing one thing, a mouse. The iOS operating system just doesn't understand what a mouse is, so even connecting a Bluetooth mouse won't do you any good. Android, on the other hand, does know what a mouse is. You can either connect one via Bluetooth or with the right adapter, just plug it on in. Some phones, like Samsung's Galaxy S9 or this Huawei Mate 10 Pro, even have desktop modes built in. If you connect your phone to a big screen, it'll show a more desktop-looking, keyboard and mouse-friendly interface. It's kind of like using a Chromebook. The biggest trade-off isn't computing power or battery life, it's that when your phone is acting like a computer, it's not a very good phone. Beware those big screen notifications, and when you get a phone call that not only interrupts your TV, but actually rings through your TV speakers, that is heart attack inducing stuff. A lot of productivity apps don't work well, even on this giant screen. It also needs more apps that work in landscape mode, and I'd like to be able to use more than one app at a time. But still, this is a good proof of concept. Your phone should power all of your computing experiences everywhere, and one day soon, it will.